live. I don't know if we have an angled delta wire would be perfect or angled something. So um, the takeoff of I'm not sure where the takeoff of the of the bile duct is. I know that her seems like a somewhat low takeoff of the cystic duct, which I'm finding easily. Um, I, will, I can try an angled guide wire to see if I can find the common hepatic duct. Uh, put it on low dose here, please. Actually, put on regular is okay. Yeah, uh, no bow. Live, please. It's not bowed, right? What I would like then is uh, we'll switch wires. So I'll take this wire out, and uh, what wire is that? It's the Acrobat Two angled wire. Okay, so this is an Acrobat Two angled guide wire to see if that angled tip can uh, assist me to find the takeoff of the common hepatic duct. Alive. Um. Touch. Live, please. Live. Oh, yeah. There. Oh. Yes. So the angled wire, I was actually spinning it with my hand and turning it, and it turned in the direction of the common paddock duct, and it actually found that. So showing the a nice case showing the advantage of an angled wire in some cases. Live, please. All right, so I'll opacify that duct now with this, and then I'm going to take a stone retrieval balloon and Make sure there are no stones. Again, I, I believe this is papillary stenosis, not stone disease. Floral, please. Inject. Injecting. So you can see the entire bile duct the, from the upper to the lower is dilated. Keep injecting. Injecting. Save a picture, please. Thank you. Okay, we'll take this stone retrieval balloon. So here we'll match the, the balloon size to the duct size, and that duct is bigger than a 12 millimeter scope, so I suspect a 15 millimeter balloon is the right size to use here. We have a multi-size balloon, the Cook balloon. Live. Okay, inflate. 15. Live, please. Yep, 15 is exactly the right size. Deflate? Yep. Here's a nice feature. So that duct, no stones, I wasn't expecting any. The 15 millimeter balloon comes out. The duct is empty, it will soon be done. There's a nice feature of a lot of the cook catheters I like to show. It's the, the measuring 
functionality. So here there's one black line. Here's a metal band. Two black. Three black. So it's very easy to remember. Three black is 15. Two black is 10. One black is 5. So for example, fluoro on fluoro. Let's say I wanted to place a biliary stent with, with the end right at the top of that balloon, right near the bifurcation. You can see I would take a 10 millimeter stent. So very useful uh, measuring functionality. Uh, the guide wire also has measuring, measuring uh, function, but uh, it's a very nice, and it's present on the, the tome, the balloon, and a lot of the catheters. All right, I think we'll do one more sweep and then we'll be done. We'll be done. Uh, live, actually, you know, uh, I always want to make sure that the intrapatic ducts look good, that there's not something like PSC or something else. So I'm going to ask you to come up to the right side, the right upper quadrant, inflate. And we're going to get an intrapatent cholangiogram here. 15 there. Yep. Perfect. Live? Yeah. Inject. So we're here, we're filling out the intrapatic ducts. They look normal, but we've at least documented that. Save a sharp picture, please. Thank you. Okay. And then the final sweep here. We will give her rectal lumethacin. We've given her lactated ringers, but the procedure was very, uh, went without any issues, so I think her risk of post ERCP pancreatitis is, is standard, which is to say 3 to 5%.